Did Tyga put a ring on it and secretly marry Kylie Jenner? And what is going down with these Nick Jonas, Selena Gomez flirtation rumors? Plus, is there any truth to this ridiculousness that has Ariana fans shading Demi Lovato? I don't know about you all, but we ain't got time for the lies. This is Rumor Patrol. <laughs> Happy Saturday, friends. You are back at Rumor Patrol. Today, I'm here with my homie, Jake Davis. JD Squared is in the heezy. Back at it again. And we are back at it, breaking down some rumors. What do you got for me, Jake? Well, Jocelyn, we got some ridiculousness to get <laughs> through. Rumor number one is Kylie Jenner's wedding ring confirming a marriage to Tyga. OK, how long have we been talking about this story, Jake? Since I got here. That It's been a while. It's so been a long time. This is the rumor that is not going to come to an end until these two either A, break up, or B, actually confirm that they're married at some point. Um, yeah. So recently, Kylie posted this photo on social media where she was showing off some bling on her left uh -huh. ring finger, which everybody knows. Like, guys, do guys know this as well? When you just see mm -hmm. a, a ring on any ring finger, I think you kind of associate that with a wedding ring, any kind of simple band. Exactly. Well, this was not simple. It was gorgeous. Kylie's known for her style, and I kind of feel like she knows what she's doing. She knows she's going to get some attention yeah. for posting this photo. So I'm not really sure how I feel about it. She also captioned it, King Kylie, which we all know what right. that's about, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. his son, Tyga's son, is named King Cairo. So some people are saying, oh, it's a reference in some way to Tyga. I, I don't even know. What do you think about this? Are they married or is this just like a social media? It makes a lot of sense if that's a reference to uh, her boyfriend or fiance's son, whichever mm -hmm. way it is. Because uh, just saying King Kylie without that being a reference to anything is kind of weird <laughs> because you're, you'd be Queen Kylie, but you can be a king yeah, if you I like want. the alliteration. I, I like the alliteration of it. Yeah, king yeah. King Kylie. It could be either way, but it, like you said, these rumors have been flying mm -hmm. around for months. So they're either going to get engaged and get married, or they won't. Exactly. And just to kind of sweeten the pot here, Kylie was recently on I Am Kate, where her grandmother, Esther, was talking about getting married at 17. Yep. And Kylie said something along the lines of, oh, just like me. And her grandma was absolutely not having it. She said, quote, I better not hear that from you. So she turns 18 in August. She graduated from high school. She's got a lot going on. Maybe she'll be married soon. But is she married now? No. This rumor is totally false. Her grandma's a lot nicer than my grandma. I joked about getting married at 17 and once. She your grandma said, like, you loser, you're lucky to have a girlfriend by 17. Alrighty, moving on to rumor number two. Is Nick Jonas getting kind of flirtatious with Selena Gomez? This is such a crazy story because as we all know, Melina, Nick, and Selena were one of the hottest couples like five years ago, six okay. years. Oh, this is a long time ago. It me. sounds like the story is they uh, were meeting up with some friends at a restaurant and they both happen to be in that terrible situation mm -hmm. where you tell yourself getting in the car, I really hope this person doesn't get there before everybody else. Yeah. So I'm there just with them. And that's exactly what happened. So they were stuck making chit chat with an ex of theirs, which they are probably still on good terms. I'm I have sure. no idea. Yeah, I've never sure. hung out with them. But I think it's the good in those situations to just rip the band aid, have the conversation, get the awkwardness yeah. out of the way, and then move on because truth be told, they are in the same circle of friends. So they're going to be hanging out together probably for the rest of their lives or at least their young adult lives at this yeah. point. So they had dinner together with a large group that Nick put together, like the ladies of Hyam were there. It was a big group, super fun. And he did an interview following the dinner where he was asked about it, and this is what happened. You know, we kind of ran into each other, what was it, a couple weeks ago, like yeah. walking um, in Venice. We were both with separate groups of friends and we ran into each other. And we met up, I had I put a uh, dinner together with a bunch of really great people, like the Heim girls who I love. Yeah, they're, they're lovely. Awesome. They're the best. Um, I love how no one mentions anyone but you and Selena though, that you were yeah. all at dinner, but it was like, it was just... Yeah, that was bizarre. Yeah. Uh, it was a big group of people and we all hung out and had a great time. And, um, it was good to reconnect in that sense. Yeah. Um, and now but, you're single, did you like think? Did I think what? Did what you think, the, oh, just she's single. She just did a look. I'm single. What is happening here? What does this mean? I need a male translation for what the heck Nick Jonas is doing here. What is this? This is a man who does not want to damn himself with his own words <laughs> and is being very careful not to insinuate anything. So I think it's safe to say that even if there was any flirting going on, he but probably... But is he though? I feel like he's being really coy. They got people talking about mm -hmm. them, keeping their names in circulation, and this yeah. kid's been around long enough. He knows, the, he knows the drill. This rumor about Nick getting flirty with Selena is totally... False. Maybe, maybe true. Maybe true. Megan, Megan better uh, get on the phone. Megan yeah. Rick's girlfriend! Yeah. 
And we're getting to the final rumor of the day, rumor number three. Were Ariana fans shading Demi Lovato? Okay, so this is a crazy story. We were kind of talking about this before we started shooting. There was some supposed beef that people were trying to conjure up a few weeks back when Demi filled in at an Ariana show. Ariana couldn't perform. Long story short, Demi went on the record to say she was never throwing shade at Ariana, but sometimes the fans can get a little impassioned. And at a recent show where Ariana was performing, there was a ton of fans, a news reporter was catching up with some really cute, I mean, kids basically at the show, and this is what happened. So you really like Ariana Grande? Yeah. What about Demi Lovato? I haven't heard of him. She's going to the concert with her cousin Isabel. Who's your favorite singer? Ariana Grande. Why? Because of her high-pitched voice. And what, do you know anything about Demi Lovato? Yes. What do you think of Demi Lovato? She's pretty good for her age. If they were, like, middle school age like 13 that it would have been oh whatever but the fact that they're so little it's adorable it it's is, adorable it's they're so, so full of cute. hate at such a young age the world's getting into the innocent i don't Fantastic. think these little girls knew what they were doing at no. all but it was so funny i don't know him seriously what guy <laughs> have you ever met named demi i haven't met any um and that she's doing really well for her age I, I don't know what that means, but I think she's doing really well for anyone's age. Was there shade being thrown here? I think we can say that rumor is totally false. false. Okay, we talked about a lot today. Obviously, we have a lot of questions. What do you want to know? I want to know, do you think Kylie Jenner and Tyga should officially tie the knot, or should she just move on and go to college? Ooh, I think that would be fun. I loved college. Too. College was a really good time. College was a good time. Yep. Um, Highly recommend it. And speaking of couples, do you think Nick Jonas really is trying to get his subliminal flirt on? with Selena Gomez because I kind of think something's happening there. Um, you guys let us know all your thoughts in the comment section below. Show Jake Davis some love on Twitter. You are? Uh, at that Jake Davis. That is him. I'm at Jocelyn Davis and we will see you guys later. Have a great weekend. Bye guys. But before you go, click to the left to find out if One Direction really is calling it quits or click to the right to find out if Selena's not flirting with Nick and actually totally back on with Justin Bieber. What's going on? So many rumors, so little time. <sighs>